I'm Matt Whitbeck, a home builder and remodeler from Saratoga Springs, New York. Building smarter, better designed, and longer lasting homes using proper techniques and building science is my passion. I'll be talking to pros around the country about issues that affect their daily work and how they overcome them. This is Building Science. Hey, we're in Austin, Texas right now. Gonna be meeting with local builder, Mark Larson. He's gonna talk us through the WRB system of his choice, which is the ZIP system. Personally, we've used the system a few times. We really like it because of the rigidity and the strength of their sheets. We know that they use very strong uh, adhesives and resins in their product, which makes that OSB extremely strong. And it gives it a great taping substrate to be able to get all your flashings adhered to. So when I think of Austin, I think of a lot of heat, humidity, all of that warm air coming up out of the Gulf, a lot of rainfall down here. We wanna make sure that the house is well protected from both the driving rain and all the humidity outside. Gonna be really great to sit down with Mark and see how he goes through the detailing of his houses, making sure that he protects these homes for a long time, using a lot of green building technology and advantages that he's found to keep houses cold and cool and last for a long time in these warm climates. Hey, Mark. Hey, Matt. Nice good to see you. Good to see you. So we're out here today at your house. Can you tell us a little bit about what got you into this business? Yeah, so I'm a building consultant uh, here in Austin, Texas, and I've been doing this for about three or four years. Uh, I got into it uh, just an interest in remodeling my own uh, previous houses uh, in the past and quickly learned that there's a right way to do things and a wrong way to do things. And I just really dove into it and uh, started doing lots of research, uh, started going to different classes and got some certifications uh, in kind of high performance building design. Um, and my wife and I are actually uh, in the process of building a high performance home for ourselves right now. Um, and we're uh, very interested in the zip system. System. Uh, this is actually what we selected for our own house. Uh, and one of the reasons that uh, we were interested in it uh, was because it delivers uh, several aspects in the same material. Um, it's got a, a WRB uh, that keeps things uh, watertight. It also keeps things airtight uh, and it provides a structural sheathing as well. I know that our water resistant barrier is a really big deal. Um, you know, anywhere now in the ARC code that it's stating that we have to have some kind of water resistant barrier underneath our cladding. So that's covered and water resistant barriers have always been a really big deal to make sure that they're strong and they're not tearing apart during construction. And uh, this product has really accomplished that by integrating it into a sheet panel to keep it really stiff and firm to make sure that it's not being torn apart during the construction process. And you brought up the air sealing, which is another really big deal with houses right now because we don't want air moving back and forth as we're trying to climate control these houses better and better, adding more efficient mechanical systems that aren't putting such a damper on our, our local grid. So we don't want those brownouts and everything else. We don't need our AC Absolutely units not. running all day long. So we need to make sure we create those barriers to keep the houses kind of secluded from whatever the outside temperature is. And I think that they've been able to accomplish that uh, in this panel with a, an installation technique that's gonna help you not have to go back around the house several times while you're doing it. Yeah, the, the neat thing about this uh, product is that the uh, WRB is applied in the factory directly to uh, the wood sheathing. Um, so it creates a very durable um, kind of substrate for the WRB, um, which means that it has a better chance of lasting through construction. Um, and then, of course, uh, gives it a durability for years to come as the house is performing as it was designed. And I noticed also with the zip system, they have a tiny embossment on the face of the sheet, which is really great, again, for drainability, because when we start installing claddings right up against that, what we want to worry about is making sure water can get out from behind that cladding. So not just protecting the wood behind it to make sure it doesn't move and migrate and wick itself into the studs, but that it's going to actually fall off back down into the earth and then move again back into vapor form. So we want that cyclical process to exist and we want it to not be stopped by our cladding on the house. So, you know, they've accomplished that with a slight embossment to that product, which is really helpful there too. Another thing I like about the system is that uh, there's different kinds of products that you can use to close up the seams, uh, which gives you that airtight and watertight um, barrier. 
Um, they've got tapes, they've also got fluid applied. Uh, they have a, uh, a stretch tape as well. And a really important aspect of the tape uh, is that acrylic uh, adhesive on the back. It's pressure sensitive, so it uh, has a chemical reaction when um, uh, pressure is applied to it. So it really is absolutely imperative that the tape is rolled. And of course, Zip System uh, makes a roller specifically for that. Um, and they've even applied uh, a Z embosser, like a metal roller within the, uh, that tape, the tape roller, uh, that leaves a little embossed Z on it. Uh, so you can come back later and you can inspect and just make sure that the pressure was actually applied enough that it left a little bit of a Z in there. So you know you have a lot of confidence that that pressure was uh, applied and that the tape has been activated. Yeah, and I know that's a really big deal with installation. I mean, everybody's trying to go so fast to make a dollar, to make the house seal up quick, to keep weather from getting into the house, to get to the mechanical stage faster, to get to the bank draw, all the things that really play a part in a builder's life every day. And we're trying to get that product on fast to, to weather tight the house. And sometimes that's a misstep, so it's hard as a builder uh, or a manager or a foreman on a site to go back and check that your guys have done their work right. And I think they were really smart about putting that embossment on their roller. And it's not that you can't use other J rollers on their product, but it gives you a way to do some quality control to actually inspect that the job was done. So you have a visual quality control inspection uh, kind of in your back pocket now by giving your guys that J roller and make sure that they put that embossment in there. And you can see that they applied the right amount of pressure or where they applied it around all the windows, the joints, the things that are really prone to leak in the house and be Absolutely. liabilities rather than assets to your company. Yeah. You know, all of us obviously want to avoid callbacks. So, you know, making sure the job's done right before the next layer goes on is a really big deal in this game. And it's, it's really great for the builder because it gives uh, a means of inspecting to make sure that things were done appropriately. Um, if you've got multiple guys that are going around the building and rolling tapes, uh, it could be very easy to miss a section or assume that another one of your guys uh, got a section. So it gives the ability for the contractor, the actual person doing the work, uh, to go around and make sure that they actually got a total package and they got everything, every single piece of tape rolled. And I'm seeing more and more a push towards that direction with the IRC codes and everything else that they're trying to start writing language now for how these WRBs are gonna work, how they're gonna be inspected by municipality inspectors. And I think before long, what we're gonna end up with is seeing some different verbiage in the code that says how the inspector needs to come out and make sure the WRBs are correct. So I'm gonna to have to assume at some point people are gonna get onto that and realize we need a visual way to see that it's been installed right. And the embossment is a, is a great way to be able to do that right now. So. Uh, my personal opinion is get out in front of it. If you're not using it now, use it because, you know, it's, it's going to become a thing that is either going to A, save you money from not missing something, or B, will become mandated in your codes and you'll need to be able to purchase that at some point anyways to make sure you can visually pass inspection that it's been done right. Yeah, so. absolutely. So what are we going to look at? Uh, so we're going to look at uh, kind of application and um, kind of how the process of how to apply uh, the system. Um, they're, the guys are almost done uh, with this. They still have a little bit of tape to do and we didn't want to slow down uh, the work that's done here. So we're going to head out to another job site and check that out. Oh, that's awesome. So we'll head out to another job site, go through the A to Z installation and kind of give everybody an idea how to apply this stuff correctly. Absolutely. Great. So we moved sites, we came over here and built ourselves a demo wall so we could mock up and show you guys the installation techniques. We roughed out a window, we did an outside corner, an inside corner, showed off the nailing detailing, making sure that we use all of the specified uh, recommendations from Huber, from the zip system as to where we place our nails. Uh, as you go through, you're gonna notice we really uh, promote this system approach, making sure that you're using the right tapes with the product don't cheap out on these things. We're using this tape around the window bucks to make sure that we get that nice fold around the edges of the windows when we get into those three-dimensional shapes. Uh, very important to really consider and think about. When we break down what our WRBs are, our water resistant or weather resistant barriers, we really wanna break down and make sure we think about 
air mitigation. Think about how water is going to come in and out of the house. And this product's going to take care of that. We're going to be able to get it in a sheet good that's really solid and rigid so that we can get it up on the wall really fast. When I got to think about a nailing substrate for my house to make sure that it's attached for shingles to go onto the house, metal roofing, um, you know, slate, uh, concrete tiles, whatever it might be, uh, siding components. I really want a solid nailing substrate when I, when I think about that sheathing product for my house. I want it to stay strong, be in rack, go on, be durable. Uh, and this product, I think, accomplishes those things. When we really get in there, it's got great nail holding power. Uh, it's rigid, it's strong, it lasts for a really long time. Uh, not a lot of wicking properties when we think about how other OSBs are and how fast they will uh, break down and delaminate. Uh, we don't want any of those things from our substrate, so that's why we really like a product like this. Thanks for watching Building Science, Austin, Texas. Leave a comment to tell us about your experiences with ZIP or WRBs in general. Please check out our other how-to videos also. This demonstration is intended for professionals only. Homeowners should not attempt these projects without first consulting a licensed professional.